I'm Jeff Torres at DEMA 2008 here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we are talking with Eric Fatah from Liquivision, a very exciting new computer company. And Eric, this is the uh, Liquivision X1. Tell us about this computer. Well, uh, we think it's quite a revolution in uh, trimix and closed circuit computers. Uh, it's the most compact computer you can get. It's the only one that has an organic LED display that can be viewed from any angle in complete darkness, even in silt-out conditions. It's got a built-in digital compass, and it's got no buttons, so it's the first computer and only computer that you interact with by just tapping it in different directions, up, down, left, and right, to navigate the menus, and most people can figure it out without even reading the manual. And so we like to think that uh, you know, there's no more memorizing button presses or sequences like that. Uh, it's open platform, so you can get different software packages. Right now we've got two packages available. There's vPlanner Live that runs vPMB and uh, GAP that runs uh, Buhlman. So based on your preference, you can choose either one. And right now we've uh, released the X-Link, which is uh, an add-on that basically allows you to connect directly to your rebreather and monitor up to three uh, oxygen cells and even a, a CO2 cell. Hey, I, know, I was going to ask you, I noticed that, there, that on this uh, uh, mock there's a, a fourth, it looks like a fourth position. Yeah. So although no one actually has a CO2 monitor yet, when someone comes out with one, yeah. you'll be able to monitor it with this with yeah. the X1. Yeah, and so the X-Link has a really, really flexible interface on the fourth channel, so you could interface to a CO2 sensor or a helium sensor. Uh, it's got both digital and analog interfaces, so it's pretty configurable based on whatever sensor anyone comes out with, we can pretty much inter interface and with it. what rebreathers would the X-Link be compatible with? As far as we're, cons uh, as far as we're aware of, Virtually every, bre every breather on the market can be configured to uh, work with the X-Link. Basically, right now, um, the constraint is that the CCR needs to be able to output a 7-pin Fisher connector. And most um, rebreathers can be configured either from the factory or with an aftermarket accessory to output a 7-pin Fisher cable. And uh, as long as you can do that, the, the pinout is the same as the VR3 and for the shear water. So if you've got... If you already have a VR3 or shear water, you just unplug it and then just plug it into our computer, run your calibrations, and then you're good to go. So. Amazing. And uh, now, I know that the X1 is already out on the market. Is the X-Link out? We've taken pre-orders, and it's going to be shipping uh, about a week or two after DEMA, so it's pretty much good to go. Yeah, that's good. Great. So. Thank you, Eric. We've been talking with Eric Fatah from Liquivision. I'm Jeff Torres in Las Vegas, Nevada at DEMA 2008 for RebreatherWorld.com and Advanced Diver Magazine.